Have you heard about ClipChamp? ClipChamp is a quick and easy video editor. It's by Microsoft. If you have Windows 11, it may already be installed. If not, you can install it or you can use it straight from the web. It is a full featured video editor. There is a lot in this. First, I want to show you just how to use a very basic tool with a piece of video. Then I'm going to put together a whole little slideshow with music from some photos and video clips that I get from my Google Photos. Let's get started. What you're seeing on the screen right here is the clipchamp.com website. I already have the app installed on my Windows 11 machine, so I'm going to use it that. So I will search for ClipChamp. And you should log in with your Microsoft account, because this is by Microsoft and it's going to save your work and create a new video. A lot of people ask me, how do you cut out a piece of video from the middle? I mean, right in Google Photos, you can trim the beginning or the end. Here is how you use ClipChamp to cut out something in the middle. First, you need to get some media. You need to get a video file. These are your options. If you're on a Windows machine, generally you're going to get clips from your computer. Here's the one I want to use. It's a minute long. And so over here is where all of your media, your photos and video clips will show up. There's a menu at the far left. There is the workspace in the middle here. And at the bottom is your timeline. So to put a piece of photo or video onto your timeline, there's two ways. You can either drag it down or you can click the plus and it will get put onto your timeline at the current position of the playhead. So this is a video of a train. And in the middle here, it goes through a tunnel. And I see no reason to have even just a few seconds of black video. So I want to erase that part of the video. I want to cut it out of the middle. So I think that part is okay. So right here at the end of what I want to cut out, I position the playhead and I click the scissors. Now I position the playhead back at the beginning of where the tunnel starts and I click the scissors. Then this piece I want to get rid of. I just click it. Notice how it turns green. You know, I click that one or I click that one. And I'm just going to press the delete key on my keyboard and it's gone. But there's this blank spot. Well, when I hover over that blank spot, notice that there is a trash can. If I click that, it says delete this gap there. So now I have the train and it goes into the tunnel and quickly <laughs> comes out the other side. Now that you've seen the very basics of opening and using ClipChamp, I want to make a full little video. We went to London last year. I'm still going to keep this really small, just a couple of pictures and a couple of video clips. There, seven, seven pieces, two little video clips and five photos. And I need to download these to my computer in order to have them accessible to ClipChamp. So I select the pictures and videos. I click the three dots and download. That's going to end up being a zip file. Choose the folder on your computer where you want to save it. And then we'll have to go unzip it. So here's the zip file downloaded from Google Photos. I will right click and extract all and I want to put it in a folder called London. So here are my seven pieces 
in a ClipChamp London folder. And for this project, I'm going to use the web-based ClipChamp, just so you can see that it's just the same. You still need to sign in with a Microsoft account. And the very first time you do this, you will be asked what sort of videos you want to make. I'm just going to choose Personal. And notice that I am just at the app.clipchamp.com website. I just typed clipchamp.com to get here. Boy, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> so I am on a Windows machine, but you could just as well do this on a Mac or even on a Chromebook since it's all web-based. I'm going to create a new video. It will step, step you through a little bit of a tutorial if you want. I'm just going to exit and I want to import media. Here are my choices. I downloaded those to my computer, so I browse files and find that folder. London, and there's seven pieces. I'm just going to do a control A to select them all and open. Now all those seven pieces of media are loaded into my ClipChamp project. Now to build my story, I can find the first clip and click a plus. Notice that that was just a picture. That was an image and it takes up four seconds. If you think that's too long, you can make it less. I think I will make it two seconds. And then I'm going to put this little video. And even that's just that is a 30 second video, but I'm zoomed in on the timeline. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it all there. So there's the picture, there's the video. And although I really like this video of the train, I think just those first few seconds are good enough. So I grab the end of it and I drag all the way up to where I want it to stop. Now I can add the other pieces in the order I want them. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and end with that one. So I now have a 52 second video with several pictures and a couple of video clips. If you should decide that you want pieces in a different order, you can just drag them on the timeline. So if I want this before that one, okay. Notice if I put it the other way around, it leaves a gap. No problem. Just click on the little trash can to delete the gap. Now let's take a look at what this looks like. I'll drag the playhead to the beginning and play. Ah, I need a transition in between these pictures, yes? So if you hover in between two pictures, you'll see a little plus and you can add a transition. To see the possible transition, click over on the left and you, and you get a preview of what the transition looks like. I think I kind of like the circular wipe. Notice anyone that has a diamond on it is a premium. You have to get the paid version and I am just using the free version here. So I'm going to click and drag that down to the plus. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but I think I'll use a different one on the next and I do, I like just a cross blur. So I'm going to drag that in between the next two pictures and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. Now all I have to do is click the plus and it will add that same transition each time I click the plus to add a transition. Now I need some music. Add audio and it shows you the different audio that's available. I want to look at the music. I am using the free version, so I cannot choose one of these that has the diamond. And then you can play a little bit of it by clicking the play button. Nah. 
Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so I'll click. Well, let me get my playhead in place. And I'll click the plus, and that puts the music on the audio line. But look how far out this goes. I can just drag it back so that it is the same length. And then I'll want it to fade out. So click on that, click fade over here on the properties side, and fade out over one second. Now I want to add a title, that's text. I click over here on text and there's all sorts of different formats. How about this one? I click plus and then it's over at the right in the properties where you make the text be what you want it to say. And I can make that stay on the screen for a while. Now well, let's see what this looks like. Well, there's lots more tweaking that could be done, but I just wanted to give you a quick idea as to how to build a little movie using ClipChamp. And I like that. When you're done, you click Export, and you have your choice in the free version of 480, 720, or 1080p. 1080p is pretty high quality. I will choose that. Yes, I don't want to save to OneDrive. I want to save to the computer, which is this button up here. Find the folder and give it a title and save. And that will be an MP4 video file on your computer to do with what you want. Clip Champ. Pretty cool, very easy, and improving all the time. They're building more and more AI into it. Try it. I think you'll like it.